is a standard domestic bathroom fan and um, I wanted to hook it up to a hoover hose or a vacuum cleaner hose so what I did was I hooked it into this bottle I used the bottle then as a uh, as an adapter uh, to get me down to vacuum cleaner hose size and I tried that and uh, yeah it produces air a little bit of air out there but uh, a lot of it just kind of cycles back against itself it's just not powerful enough so uh, if you were thinking of using a ceiling fan or something from a bathroom uh, that particular one, which is a standard one, won't work. Okay, so I've tried it, no good. However, that hair dryer will work. Now, the thing about hair dryers is um, they're not um, continuously rated motors. You know, that they're designed to come on for a while and then your hair is dry, you switch it off. It's not designed to come on Monday and switch off the following Sunday, you know, so. Uh, it ain't gonna work but if you just want to kind of prototype and test something out and see what the flu is like and blah 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 you know if you just want to test it out yeah it's gonna work and uh, most houses have it you know so if you can pick yourself up um, some sort of a propane tank or whatever and this propane tank by the way is um, is dual use I want this one for burning uh, solid fuel logs coal whatever um, and that's why there's two doors in it. It was designed for my original burner, which works on gravity. Um, if you're doing one from scratch and you're going to use this burner, um, you could just, you know, uh, set that door up, set the whole thing up with only one door, lower down, uh, where that bottom door is. And, um, you know, then you get the, the benefit of the entire stove getting hot or the entire propane tank getting hot. Whereas at the moment I'm only heating kind of maybe two thirds of it. Uh, and that's because if I want, don't want to use the um, electricity to run this thing, I can just put my other burner in and it will work on gravity and just, um, you know, standard Ozert type um, burner. Um, as you can see in kind of some of the other videos that I've put up. However, what I'm going to do now is, is demonstrate this uh, amazing ability of this stove to throw out heat uh, with just an ordinary hairdryer. Uh, I'm only messing, but it's just... You know, you see some guys on YouTube and they, uh, you know, they're heating offices with just three candles. Now, <laughs> a candle is 70 watts, that's it, plus or minus a little bit, but say 70 watts. Now, a ceiling bulb generally is about 100 watts, you know, and if you can't heat your, your room with three ceiling bulbs, it doesn't matter what you put over them, you can put flower pots, sun beds, anything you want over them, it, it doesn't matter. Um, 70 watts is 70 watts and if it's not enough to heat your room which you know unless it's a tiny room the size of a cornflake box or something it ain't gonna happen so anyway this is a hairdryer um, that's gonna drive this stove and it's gonna do it very easily so same again um, you know I don't know what that quantity is but it's it's small enough you know nothing great I'm gonna pour it all in there okay nothing left um, what I'm gonna do now Turbo torch it. Okay, so it's lighting. Very easy to do. Um, I'm gonna add the oil. I'll bring you over and let you see. So there's the. That's it burning with no fan. And we're gonna put some oil in. Okay, just gonna throttle it back a little bit. So maybe that much oil. Hasn't gotten down into the fire yet, and I'm going to switch on this hair dryer just so as you can see. So, hair dryer on, okay, hair dryer off, hair dryer on, okay, okay. So, I'm literally using a hair dryer to drive this thing, so that'll tell you how, um, how easy it is to start out. The hair dryer is on its lowest setting, and um. And that's what we've got. I don't know if you can see into that. I'm not sure how that works out, but that's what I'm burning. And uh, just to give you an indication of the temperature, now remember it's just a hair dryer, so it just needs a fan. This is Fahrenheit. Um, so I don't know, 950, something like that. So, you know, heading up on a thousand degrees Fahrenheit that side. This side's going to be cooler because of the way the flames are directed currently. But, um... So, 
So I don't know if you can see the laser. I think you can. Down this end of the stove, the, the fire starts from, from there up. So you're not going to get much there. But... So there you go. Between 7 and 960 degrees, something like that. And uh, great flame off it. And that's what's doing it, just a hairdryer. And if I turn up the speed on the hairdryer, you can probably hear it. it has a bearing on the flame, but you wouldn't listen to it for long. But anyway, any, the, the, the hairdryer is purely for prototyping, you know? So if you've got a hairdryer, a uh, propane tank, a pot, some pipe, whatever, you know, you could knock one of these up very quickly. Um, so that's it, let's have a look at the smoke. Okay. Well, you see what I see. No smoke. Nothing. Zero. Nada. And, uh, with just a hairdryer. And I can feel the heat as soon as I walk in. So, there you go. Waste oil burner being powered by a hairdryer. Um, so you would need a more continuously rated, you know, uh, fan than that. You're going to get a few hours out of that and you're going to wear it out. But, um... Yeah, it's been going for about 10 minutes now on cold, so it's just blowing cold air, just as a fan. And, uh... I have the stove... I'll open that door. Hang on a sec. Get a glove on. Um... Okay, so... There you go. I don't know if you can see a gap here, at the bottom. So what I've done is, because this stove was used on a previous project, uh, there's actually air coming up through that. Uh, no smoke coming out of the door. The glass is very, very clean. And uh, the gloves are smoking every time I touch that. I can feel the heat through them. So, really hot. Getting hotter all the time. Um, and I have a steady stream going into it. A steady stream of oil. Um, Burning, I don't know, a bit less than a US gallon an hour, something like that at that rate, and it can be turned up. Um, if I turn it up, I need to turn up the volume on the air as well, because it's an air fuel mix. Um, to turn up one, you have to turn up the other. However, at that rate, um, insulated shop or something, this one is 30 by 20, and it can heat this. Now, if it was minus 20 outside, degrees centigrade, uh, it's not going to do it. I, I need to get this thing insulated. But, um, savage amount of heat out of it and it's just a hair dryer doing the business so um, my other motor is a continuously rated motor it's just a converted oil burner um, standard domestic oil burner and, um, and it, it works really really well so I just did this to see if it would do it and just as an indication as to how much air you would need so if it you know a small or a standard domestic hair dryer on its lowest setting is capable of doing it you know, you just find yourself a fan that can do it, and you can put one of these things together very, very easily. So there you go, YouTube. Um, if you liked this video, uh, if you found it helpful, uh, maybe you might um, click the like button, comment, or subscribe. Uh, thanks very much. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.